Yes, yes, guys, this is Nilly Last and welcome. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is the news coming from Track about the last generation consoles regarding Black Ops 3. Now, as we've been hearing that with the Xbox 360 and the PS3 versions, there is going to be no campaign mode, no paint shop, and there is going to be no esports. So all of that's going to be taken out of the game. They've said that it's not viable. They did say a little while ago that they were hoping to have a two co-op on there instead of the four co-op. But they just don't feel that it's going to work. It's not going to be good enough. So they decided to cut it all out and only sell it with the multiplayer and the zombies. Now, in regards to that truck, I have said that they are going to sell it at a knockdown price because you're only going to be able to get the multiplayer and the zombies. So that is good in regards to that because I've seen lots of different companies before where they still try and push the same thing even though it's not quite the same for the same sort of price and it is a bit of a con. So I'm glad that Triarch have gone down that line where they have knocked it down. But also guys what I want to talk to you about is how it's actually going to affect last generation console users. Now I did a little video a little while ago basically about how people normally jump straight to the multiplayer or zombies when they get hold of their copy of you know, previous Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 or anything else like that. Most people normally want to play the multiplayer rather than what they actually want to play the campaign. Now, I understand that this year it is going to be slightly different. The campaign looks a hell of a lot better. They've put a lot, lot more work into it. Normally, you could just walk through the campaign in like especially like about three or four hours and it was pretty pretty simple now obviously they've done it a lot differently you got a four co-op obviously you got the home kind of like the destiny thing where you can show off all your weapons and everything else and i would imagine that as time goes by they're going to be adding in different missions and everything else just to try and mix it up so this year it could be a bit of a miss for last generation console users who can't quite get their hands on a like um, the new generation consoles at the moment so it can be a bit of a downfall for that I think with previous Call of Duty titles it wouldn't have really mattered so much because personally for me I, I don't ever bother like Advanced Warfare I haven't even touched the campaign I've never touched the campaign on the previous Call of Duty title on Ghost it doesn't really interest me now this one does particularly interest me a little bit more I, I know that I don't think I'm going to be able to walk straight through it so it's going to be a bit more of a challenge so I might actually give this one a go so for the last generation console users a lot of people could probably be thinking that i really really couldn't give a monkeys about the campaign as long as i get the multiplayer i can play along with my friends especially zombies i think in that the biggest downfall is definitely gonna be the paint shop i think that's gonna take off so well i mean i actually really really enjoyed it i only spent a little bit of time using it but you can see how addictive that is gonna be it really really is and also with the esports now league play in black ops 2 was really really big it really was and i'm glad to see that they've improved it in such a way so for those two things i think they're going to be the biggest drawback for the last generation console use i think a lot of people aren't going to really worry about the campaign too much but let me know guys in the comment section below about what you're feeling about this and whether you think they should have just basically cut out last generation consoles altogether if they couldn't actually provide a full game whatsoever for it be very interesting to hear your views and also guys if you do have a last generation consoles whether you're actually bothered about not getting these bits in it or not anyway leave this all in the comment section below contact me on twitter It'd be absolutely amazing come up my screen now is my subscribe button please jump on that and guys if you could like this video and support my channel it'd be absolutely amazing this is nearly last and i'll catch you later